station, this is the observer. How do you hear me? I hear you loud and clear, and I get observer emails, but I don't get to as much chance to read them right now. How are you doing down there in, uh, at Notre Dame? Uh, we're doing well. It's, uh, it's good to have a good football team, as you might imagine. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It makes the season great. I love college football season anyway, but it's really special this year, uh, and especially watching the games from in space. Yeah, that's, uh, that was actually going to be my first question. You've been able to follow the games, I, I, I gather, and, and watch the, the USC game? We have a high data rate comm system that on weekends is not all tied up with passing, uh, uh, you know, scientific data and stuff, and they pump a little bit of TV up here on it. It's not the best quality, but I can follow what's going on for sure. Um, do you have any sort of uh, Notre Dame memorabilia or anything up there with you on the station? Yeah, I actually had the... Um, Aeronautics and Astronaut, well, Air, um, Aerospace and Mechanical Engineering Department, AME Department, uh, supplied me with a little token that's kind of a, a memorabilia, and I brought up a little uh, God Country Notre Dame uh, coin along, and a class ring uh, for me and my daughter, who uh, I have a son and daughter who are also Notre Dame grads, and uh, then a, a, a small wardrobe of Notre Dame, uh, Notre Dame shirts and memorabilia. Um, going back a little bit, um you know, from Notre Dame, what sort of lessons from your education and time here in Notre Dame have stuck with you throughout your career? Well, that you never know what's going to be important to you sometime down the road. You know, uh, this is an international program, so courses I had in the social sciences, uh, a funny thing that happened to me senior year was I found out late that I needed one more social science because I was an engineering graduate. And the one that fit just happened to be Intro to Russian. And I took Intro to Russian, and I speak Russian now on a daily basis up here in space with my Russian colleagues. Uh, you know, all the ed branches of education are important to you, but uh, of, course, uh, of course the major, major is important to uh, what you want to do as well. And then I would just add to it, you never know where you're going to end up for sure in a career field, so any education is great education. Was uh, was being an astronaut sort of a lifelong dream for you? Obviously, you're an aerospace engineer, but did you did you know you wanted to do this um, from an early age? Well, I you know I, I suppose I kind of feel like a lot of kids you know there are a lot of a lot of jobs out there you just think are really cool when you see people doing them, and um, you know an astronaut was always one of them that. Though it seemed special to me, I never really thought that it was a possibility because I knew the numbers were so small. But I did know I wanted to be in aviation and be in engineering, and I, uh, I was an Air Force pilot and became an Air Force test pilot. And from there, it was kind of uh, a next step because the space shuttle is, is really kind of the, the top, top of the line, really cool flying machine, if you will. So that's why I ended up uh, applying to the space shuttle program and, and being an astronaut. Um, what sort of, uh, I mean, what sort of surprised you about being in space? Um, I mean, I'm sure you've been training for this for, for a long, long time, but is there anything that sort of took you by surprise? Well, um, I, I make little mistakes all the time being in zero gravity and, uh, things, things surprise me. Things float away from you, uh, very quietly. Um, you learn as you uh, get here, after you've been here a few weeks, you kind of forget about where the floor is and where the walls are and the ceiling are, and you can just operate kind of in any orientation and be happy there. So it kind of surprises me how your mind adapts to that, which way to turn, passing through modules and everything, whether, whether you're in any orientation. And uh, the other thing that surprises you is, is just how bright blue the beautiful Earth is out there. Every time you see it, it's, uh, it, just, it just glows. It's like it's neon. So it's, uh, it's a surprising view for with, uh, with your own eyes. Um, how long are you going to be on the station? And what, what are your uh, maybe top goals while you're up there? Well, my top goals are to serve the increment manager and the science program. There are people on the ground who 
put together my daily schedule and today I'm conducting an in experiment uh, with Huntsville, Alabama called In Space. It's about uh, binary colloids in space and so day to day I do maintenance and take care of the space station uh, as the increment managers and flight directors direct me to do. So I'm really just the just the hands-on, if you will, for all the people around the world who, uh, who put these experiments together and decide what we want to do in space. I'll be up here until uh, the middle of March is the plan, maybe longer, you never know. So <laughs> keep my fingers crossed. I do enjoy being up here. Uh, so it'll be a total of about a five-month stay by the time I come home. Um. Uh, what's a, an average uh, along those lines is an average day mostly work do you get some time for for recreation I would say my recreation time in a day so far has been pretty limited maybe to like an hour a day my recreation is usually watching a video or a TV show while I'm on a treadmill or while I'm on an exercise machine so we get a two and a half hours a day of exercise and we kind of consider that recreation and then we uh, were scheduled for six and a half hours of activities and then with meals and getting ready for conferences and collecting things and just taking care of yourself and getting a good night I'd sleep it it fills the day so not a lot of recreation right now but I did stay up until 4 a.m. on Saturday night my time uh, to watch that West Coast game uh, of Notre Dame against USC up here live I watched it to the very end and it was uh, as fantastic you guys must be really having a good time with that uh, we we sure are um, it's been it's been fun and for a, for a senior this is couldn't ask for a better way to, to go out um, one last question for no, you. I, I, I understand. Um, what message do you have to, to current Notre Dame students? You know, I, I would say um, I feel very, very lucky to be in this job. I know it's a very unique job. Uh, one of the things that, that makes me sad is that more people can't come. Uh, off the planet and see what it looks like and, and what a space station is like and live out here. And uh, I never expected to be able to be here. Uh, I applied for the astronaut program many times and was rejected. And finally, uh, when I was 40 years old, I just happened to uh, to fall into a slot and get selected. And now I'm now I'm over 50 and finally flying in space. So, you know, persistence is a big is a big thing. If you really want something, find find good ways to go after it. If a door closes for you, you know, find another door that you would love to go in and try that too. And you never know uh, where you'll end up in life. So appreciate all the classes you're getting. When I look back on my career at Notre Dame, I think of all those classes I had and how, how many of them came into play later that I never expected would. So uh, that would be my message to the students, and, uh, and you got to get it out of the books. So keep, keep in there and keep studying. Spend some time in the library in a carol like I used to. Well, I appreciate it. Um, we'll, uh, we'll keep sending out those emails, and if you get a free, free, uh, free moment, it would be nice to know that an astronaut is uh, reading The Observer, too. It's it's great. I've been I've been uh, I love the fact that you guys send those out and uh, I love keeping up with what's going on on campus. Not just the course of sports, but all the other things you guys are experiencing too because it is like it is like home for me. We just flew over South Bend just about uh, one orbit ago by the way. Made it almost direct pass overhead. It was still uh, dark hours I think on the ground for you so uh, nothing visible but uh, well I'll keep my eye out and try to get a shot of the dome sometime. All right. Thank you very much for your time. You're welcome. And I always have to just go upside down and finish out the conference. I'll turn around and show you my best side. You guys take care at Notre Dame. Tell everybody I said hi. Will do. Station, this is Houston ACR. Thank you. That concludes the event.